Talk about out of this world. Navy pilots are claiming they've spotted UFOs nearly every day for two years. Wow. Uh, at first, the pilots reportedly thought these objects were a part of a top secret drone program. Mm -hmm. But a near collision in 2014 changed their minds. Now our next guest is sounding off in a brand new series on History Channel called Unidentified Inside America's UFO Investigation. Here with more former, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Christopher Mellon. Christopher, do you believe the UFOs exist? We know that UFOs exist. This is not a, a no longer an issue. The Navy itself has publicly acknowledged the fact that they exist. And Navy pilots, active duty pilots, have gone on the record in the New York Times acknowledging the fact that they exist. So the issue now is, why are they here? Where are they coming from? And what is the technology behind these devices that we're observing? Are there indications that these unidentified flying objects are doing things that uh, this uh, this world is not capable of. There are indications, actually. There, uh, the Nimitz incident, a famous uh, example of this, which was well documented by multiple radars, multiple pilots in broad daylight. That vehicle demonstrated speeds in excess of 5,000 miles an hour. It was able to hover a 50 feet above the ocean after descending from above 80,000 feet. So the pilots who are observing these craft are absolutely mystified, and that comes through clearly in their public statements. They are frustrated. They feel as though something should be done. They're deeply frustrated, and that is the core of our show, Unidentified. We're giving military personnel on the front lines a voice. We're helping them get out the message what it is they're encountering and why they're so concerned about it. And we're not the only country who's having these encounters. Absolutely not. And in fact, as our investigation unfolds over the first six episodes this season, we're going to be presenting information from a NATO ally that's been having very similar experiences. All right, I want you to, you brought a clip with you. I saw you, you carried the tape in with you when you, uh, in the green room. Uh, so here it is. Mm -hmm. The object the Navy pilot is tracking suddenly seems to get bigger. The object then appears to accelerate rapidly, disappearing off screen. That's a significant rate of acceleration in a horizontal plane off to the left. That's very fast. I have no idea what that thing is, and it's not acting like a aircraft. It's not acting like anything I've ever seen. Yeah. So that's been the story. The New York Times writes about it. Uh, you, you have a, a, a strong reputation and, and a big title and a huge resume you're saying is actually happening. Has there been interaction being to being, human being to whatever these beings are? Not that I'm aware of. Um, these are interactions between intelligently controlled vehicles that are highly sophisticated, that are operating in and around U.S. military facilities. And uh, hence the concern. The pilot's concern are, one, there have been near mid-air collisions. There's a safety issue. But two, there is a vital national security issue, which is that our sovereignty is being violated by vehicles of unknown origin. What's more responsible, uh, announcing it uh, and saying this is our problem, this is the video, or not announcing it? Um, let me mention in that regard that when Lou Elizondo, my colleague, was still in the Pentagon running the UFO investigation, uh, I worked with him, introduced him to two individuals who are direct reports to General Mattis. We were unable to get that on the Secretary's agenda. Ultimately, Lou concluded and, and I concluded that the only way to, to make progress on this issue was from the outside, to take the information to the public and the Congress. That's what this show is about, and that's what these military pilots uh, are helping us with. So we're going to see it uh, coming up Friday. Um